Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. This is episode 23. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I always forget to look, but I'm thinking it's 23. Jesse heard me talking, so he's about to come in here and he's probably going to grab you because I have you sitting very close to the edge. I'm trying to get good lighting. It is like 6, at yeah, 6.03 at night on Thursday because I was babysitting earlier so I couldn't film earlier in the day. So yeah, it's going to be a, a dim one. <laughs> Alright, hopefully my computer's not making my face look crazy because of the color. Alright, welcome everybody. Welcome back. Um, thanks for clicking on and watching. <laughs> uh, he's climbing. <clears throat> I forgot what I was going to say. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I've had quite a few new ones in the last couple of days, which is awesome. So I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, I'm doing vlogmas right now, but there's no pressure to watch it. If you're not interested in vlogs, just wait every wait till every Friday and watch the crochet talks. Um, I actually have some finished objects this week, which is good. <laughs> Better than the last few weeks. I'm not prepared. I just literally got Jesse out of the tub and put his diaper on him. Okay. Finished objects. We'll just hop in and finished objects. This one was in my uh, Vlogmas. It's, I forgot to weave in the end. <laughs> but it is my Scooty. Scooty is short or whatever for a scarf and a hood. So that would be what this is. <laughs> this is a free pattern uh, put out. What is it called? Designed. <laughs> Designed by Zoe at 24 Karat Crochet. It's just called uh, Simple, The Simple Scooty. I'm not going to say her last name because I have no idea how to pronounce it and I'm not going to try. I tried last time I said that. but This worked out super duper fast. I think I made it in like two days and that was just when I could work on it in between Dylan with Jesse. Um, it's all double crochet. You start right here and then you work back and forth <laughs> and then you just make the scarves. But this is made with Red Heart Super Saver Stripes, Bright Stripes. I think it's real pretty. I haven't worn it yet outside the house because it hasn't really been that cold yet. I live in Tennessee and well, our renter's not until January, February-ish. But I like it. When I first made it, I thought that it went this way. Like this was the hood. And I was like, what the heck did I do wrong? It's way too long. But then I scrolled down to the bottom of her pattern and saw that it goes this way. <laughs> So I was like, oh, okay, I didn't mess it up. This took almost two skeins. This is all I had left of the two skeins. Hi, Butterball. Hello. Yeah, here, you can do it on. These two little balls are from where I tried to get the colors to match. Oh, leave that alone. So they do kind of match. Not 100%, but they're in the same general area all the way down. And that's why I had those two balls left. That little one that he just ran off with was the first uh, skein. The first skein did all of the hood and uh, I tied in, but I think it was orange, this much of the scarf. And then the rest of that scarf and the whole other side of the scarf was another hole. Um, well, not a hole. That much left. And the, um, the Red Heart Super Saver colored, like the variegated and the stripes and all that, skeins are smaller than their regular skeins so if you made this in a solid color it would take even you know you'd have even more of your skein left but I like this a lot and it was really easy I would kind of like to make a hello I would kind of like to make a Jesse no honey oops he dropped us I would kind of like to make a yeah half double crochet version so that the holes are tighter but that would take longer Bye. and I wanted something that I could do sitting on the couch while Jesse's in one of his moods and won't let me sit in here or something and just work on it and that's exactly what I did for two days I almost finished it the first day I think it was in my vlogmas video but and I wanted to so bad but I had to go to bed I think it's awesome and I would totally like to make another one okay I have to film this one look at him you are silly that's Devin's giant snake in the floor. His dad got him that for Christmas a few years ago. But yeah, I'd like to make my mom one of those because I think my mom... Here, you can play that one too. I'll get it once you go to bed. 
he brought his body wash or shampoo out of the tub with him and now it's all shook up. Are you okay? <laughs> He just hit his head. Anyways, that's a free pattern offered by Zoe from 24 Karat Crochet. She's got a lot of free patterns and a lot of scooties. I want to make her ribbed one, but I don't want to do a bunch of front posts and back post double crochets because I hate doing front posts and back posts double crochets. Ooh. I have to film this part again. It's just cute. <laughs> he was sitting in his chair back there. <gasps> What are you doing? You're getting Mama's yarn everywhere. You thinker. Yeah, he's throwing them. All right, that was my first finished object. And I really, I really enjoyed that. I would totally make another one. I think my mom would like it. I think I already said that. But she would want like not crazy colors like that. She would want like browns. Okay, anyways, like I was saying, I keep having to interrupt this one because he keeps hitting his head on everything. But I think she would like a brown color, like a cream or even a green, because those are the colors she likes. My next finished object is, I actually made two of these. These little mitten ornaments. Well, I made two sets. <laughs> these are obviously two. <laughs> this one's for my brother and sister-in-law. Um... I wanted to make everybody in my family, which is just three people, uh, Christmas ornaments for Christmas. Obviously. I don't know why I said that. But I made my brother and my sister-in-law these ones. They're in uh, Red Heart Super Saver Icelandic. And I got three skeins of this. I'm just trying to use it up. I'm actually, one of my other, my whip is in that too. Um, the pattern is just one. And I don't think it's stuffed, but I wanted to make two to look like, you know, those little things little kids used to wear through their coats. And so it would hang over to the tree branch. I made my, I already said that, I made my brother and sister-in-law. And then I made my sister and brother-in-law the same exact mittens, but it's in the, um, I already gave it to my sister. Red Heart Super Saver Mistletoe, I think it's called. It's the holiday colors. It's red, white, and green. And I just had like a little ball of it left from where I made tree skirts last year, year before that for my sister and myself. Um, but yeah, I think they're super duper cute. I just stuffed them a little bit, not super, but a little and sewed them shut and then just put a string between them so that they would hang. Super easy pattern. I made one and then I made the other three without even looking at the pattern. This is a free pattern. It is called Miss Mitten Ornament by Nadia Fraud and she's got a lot of free patterns too. She made a bunch of ornaments recently. I think she had 12 that she released and there's a bunch of cute ones. I had a couple more that I wanted to make but I, I thought the mutants would be cute for my brother and sister. I made my mom an angel but I think that was in the last episode. I already sent it with her too. Today actually. <laughs> Alright and my last finished object I'll have to insert a clip of because it's already hanging up but it is the Christmas Lights by Jean Herman. I made some of these for my sister recently, uh, if y'all were here and seen it. It's a free pattern, and I made mine just like my sister, same colors, except I did four repeats of the five colors, so there's 20 bulbs all together. And the way it, it just, I think it fits beautifully in my hole in the wall, <laughs> pass through or whatever it's called, but um, I think it looks awesome there. I would like to make more in the future to hang in other places in my house and even possibly try to sell. Um, all right. That one. <laughs> all right. I love you. That's all of my finished objects, which is actually really good because that's four finished objects for me. The Christmas lights, the Scooty, and the two sets of mittens. Even though they're little and I made them all in one setting, but eh. Still finished objects. That's still more than last week. All right. There was one whip that I forgot to copy over. Let me go to my Ravelry page real fast. I completely forgot about this whip because I have not touched it. I'll go ahead and talk about one I've not touched and won't be touching anytime soon. And that is my Grease Crochet Along. I know a lot of you guys were interested in seeing the progression of that. But I just lost my oomph for it. And I think it's just going to have to hibernate until I get that oomph back. I don't know. I love Grease and I love that blanket. I can't wait to finish it. But I've just lost my oomph for it. And it is a paid for pattern by Chaos and Chop Suey. Um, it's a good pattern. I like it. It's just, I just not feeling it. <laughs> and if I don't want, 
I don't want to waste time working on something that I don't want to work on. Just because I might feel obligated to finish it. Because I don't. It's sitting in there in my snappy bag. <laughs> and the other squares are just in the closet. And I, it'll, I'll work on it when I work on it. And if it hibernates for a while, it hibernates for a while. I think, I don't know if it was maybe too big of a, um, a chunk that I bit off. You know, that was my first corner to corner project. And I don't know if that's why I burned out on it so quickly or if I'm just, I don't know. I'm just over it right now and I don't want to deal with it. So it's in the closet. The second um, whip that I've not worked on in a while <laughs> is the blanket with the blue yarn that I'm making for my brother and sister-in-law. Uh, it's called the, where is it? I forgot to copy it over. The Hexy Baby Blanket. I'm planning on making it bigger than a baby blanket though. Uh, it's made in parts. It's it's an easy pattern too. It's free. It's by Vicki Howell. It'll be linked below if I can remember to copy it over. <laughs> it's a beautiful pattern and I have three of the excuse me. Three of the little hexies done. I just I'm getting happy feeling it. I wanted to work on this and when I started that scooty pattern I loved it and I had to finish it. And then I made these little things and I finished my Christmas lights one night after Jesse went to bed. I stayed up later than I should have finishing it because I was so close to finishing. My only other whip is when I started I think yesterday. This is also with Red Heart Super Saver Icelandic. Like I said I have three skeins. This one's floppy because it's not a, wasn't a full skein. Um, I have two full skeins and then this one that had these mittens taken out of it and something else. I can't remember. I made something else with this. Just a little bit of it. And uh, I wanted to use it up because it was just another, more yarn that was just sitting around not being used forever. And I bought this when I was pregnant with Jesse. Because I had intended to make him a blanket out of it. But I felt it was too rough. And I know some Red Heart is rough and then if you wash it it's better. But I just, you know, it just got put in the stash and lived there for two years. Uh, but the little pattern that I'm working on, I got the head done. It's an amigurumi. It's called the Sleepy Bear by Jennifer... I have no idea how to say her last name. It's going to be a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is its head and the beginning of its body. It's about right here. It's head color pulled. I don't know how good you can see it because I just have a uh, yellow light above me. But the whole head color pulled. I thought that was so neat. I hope the body does that, but I doubt it will. I'm not that lucky. Um, I'm really good at pulling by accident. But yeah, I just worked on this. Well, I started this two days ago because the last two nights I set up after right after Jesse went to sleep and worked. Just did like half of this each night. And I messed up, I noticed this morning and had to rip out and redo a couple of rows. My count was off. But this is a free pattern. I already said that. It's a really cute little bear. It's just, you when you get it done, it's called Sleepy Bear because you like stitch the eyes on to make it look like it's sleeping. But, um, I guess you could put regular eyes on it and just be a regular bear. Um, I really like this pattern so far and I love any, I love working with single crochet for amigurumis, obviously, not blankets or anything, because of how tight it is, and like, I don't know, it just looks so nice. I made a hat once with single crochet, and I just loved it. But I'm using, this is a little stitch marker. I don't know how good you can see it. It's a little bumblebee. Uh -huh. Get up there, bumblebee. Hannah sent me this. Hannah from the Cozy Cottage Crochet. She answered, um... One of my wishes during that Instagram hashtag, get your yarn wish granted, and I wished for stitch markers or progress keepers, you know, those are the same thing <laughs> to me. And she sent me a few, and this little bee, every time, I guess because he's bigger or something, I have a little bowl in that closet of all my stitch markers, <clears throat> and every time I go to grab one, I just grab the first one I grab, and it's always this little bee lately. Every time I've grabbed one, it's been the little bee. But she sent me a few, there's a little ladybug one in there too. <clears throat> But I like this little bee. He's so stinking cute. He's a little glass bead. My sister used to make beaded necklaces and bracelets and stuff. And like you could buy these variety packs of them. And that's, I think that's what this is. And he's just a cute little glass bee bead. But yeah. I think his body's going to be about this long. And he's got little legs and arms. And a snout and ears. I think he's going to be super cute. I'm going to make the snout. I've got a light gray color that kind of matches this. I'm going to try to match it as well as I can and make his snout gray and then do the inside of ears uh, gray also. But I, I like this pattern so far that I might actually make more than one of these bears just to have in my box of random crocheted things in case I need a baby gift or 
someone you know says hey can you make me a bear i can be like well pile i already got one <laughs> but um back to hannah though if she's watching this <laughs> I think me and you are going to be very good friends. <laughs> Every time I talk to her, I'm, I'm always like, oh, I want to be her best friend. Every time, you know, we always bring up something. Lately, it's been Skyrim. We both found out that we both like Skyrim a lot. <laughs> <clears throat> but I won't bore everybody else because y'all are not into gaming. Skyrim is a game, by the way. Uh, yeah. So, woo, I threw my hook. Jess has been off quiet. I better go check on him real fast. I better back. Okay, anyways, I want to... I think this bear will use up the rest of this skein. I keep wanting to say cake now because of all the cakes that's coming out. And then a lot of another one. So I will still have like one and a half. So depending on how much this little bear does take, I might make another one just like that one in the same colorway. Or I might find another amigurumi just to try to use up all this variegated. I love using variegated yarn for amigurumi animals because it just, or little monsters or whatever, it just makes it look more detailed than it actually is. So to people who don't know crochet and stuff, it looks like it's a lot more work than it is. But um, to people like us who know the truth, it's just fancy yarn, you know. But yeah, that's my only other whip other than the two that's hibernating. <laughs> I'm so bad about starting projects and not finishing them. I've noticed a lot of times it's blankets that I do that with. So maybe I should veer away from the blankets for a little while and just stick to amigurumis and like this scooty thing. This was so much fun to make. I don't know why I enjoyed it so much. I think it's because it was really quick pattern, you know. Double crochets are really fast, especially when you're using a larger hook. And I believe this was an eye hook. And I was just flying through there making, you know, I was watching TV and everything. Just making these little double crochets to make this scooty. That I need to swap up somehow. There you go. That would be a good gift for, like, people and everything. But, um, acquisitions. I only have one acquisition and it's in there. I gotta go grab it. This is the only acquisition I've got, and I didn't even buy it. My mom gave it to me. She got it in the mail. I guess she sent off for it for free. She don't even know how it got there. She said it just came, and she figured I would want it, which is true. Um, because I was subscribed to this, but I didn't renew it after it went out. Uh, the last time, I think it was in summer, I got the last issue. I don't know. I just didn't renew it. I need to, because I like this magazine. I got a whole stack of them. Never made anything out of them, but I got plenty of things marked, including in this magazine. This is Crochet World, by the way. I don't, I guess you saw it. This is the December issue. I believe this comes out six times a year. It comes out every other month. This first thing in here, I want to make, because, huh? Okay. I want to make this because it takes a size three yarn, which is oh. what Mandala is, and I have a ton of Mandala. <laughs> but it's called the, uh, Alet Shawl. This is the first picture of it. I don't know how well it's going to come out. I don't know how glary it is. And when I saw this shawl, the first thing I thought of was Hannah. <laughs> I thought this is something that she would like to make. There's that picture. And there's another picture here, but there's a pattern. A lot of pattern on it. I'm not showing the pattern because that would be wrong. You know, this is paid for a magazine. But I saw that and I thought Hannah would make that if she had this. <laughs> it just looks like something she would wear because it's lighter than... Like the kind of shawls that keep you warm, it's more like a shawl that look good. Yeah. Hey, Shug. Oh, and she lives in Florida, so oh, she doesn't need warmth Charlie. too much. It's okay. It's alright. Okay. There's a couple other patterns in here that I thought was super cute that I might make, but probably won't anytime soon because that's how I am when I get making these. Okay, first I thought this, um, what is this? A doily? I've never made a doily. <laughs> But I thought that was super cute. That'd be real cute, you know, around Christmas time on the table, which is what it's for. There's a free pattern for one similar to that that's Santa Heads that I actually downloaded the other day when it popped up. Oh, oh I thought this was so adorable. I don't know where you get a little tiny whisk, though. It says a five inch miniature whisk, I guess, like in the dollhouse department. But it's called a creature whispering. Because, you know, the, the night before Christmas, uh, it says not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But this mouse was stirring. He's making some cupcakes or something. Some brownies. I want to make that so bad. I'm going to make that next Christmas. I might actually, I think this is smaller yarn. What is this? No, it's medium. I would want to make it bigger. It's five inches. Five inches wide, six and a half inches tall. But it's so cute. I don't know where you get miniature whisks from, though. Maybe Hobby Lobby. This is really pretty. 
this table runner. I actually had one downloaded last year. It looks very similar to this that I was going to make for the fair to enter into our county fair, and I never got around to doing it. <laughs> I'm a procrastinator. I think that's the last of the patterns in here that I thought was super adorable. Let me just look here real fast. Thanks. So. There's a couple of Tunisian patterns in here, which I think that's neat. It's kind of, I think, Tunisian crochet is getting more popular. But yeah, those are the patterns in there that I like the most. I like how this magazine like has a table of contents in the back <laughs> of all the pictures of the patterns. These little slippers are Tunisian, and these mittens are like Tunisian with like ferrol or whatever it's called on it. Pretty cool. I don't like Tunisian crochet. I did one Tunisian crochet. Um, washcloth in Hannah and Claudia's crochet along that they have both hosted. Um, Claudia from Crochet Luna and Hannah from Cozy Cottage Crochet. And I did it and it was okay and I finished it but I don't think I'll ever want to do it again. I was so slow for me. I mean I realized if I did it more I would get better at it maybe. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just gonna stick to what I know for right now. That's all my acquisitions. I don't know what else to talk about other than I'm just wanting to make some more amigurumis. I'm in, I've been in an amigurumi kick pretty much most of this year. I'm sure y'all have noticed that if you watched my past episodes. I make, I make a lot of amigurumis, but I do enjoy it a lot. And uh, it's something that I can do with Jesse in the room. I don't think he would let me lug around a big blanket or anything. He actually did really good with this goodie. He never really pulled on it. He would come up to me and like grab my yarn and say, Arn, because that's how he says yarn, which is adorable. But, um, and I would just tell him, no, Bubba, this is for Mama. Or I would give him a random ball of yarn like I did and have to wind up getting this all over the floor. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to work on some amigurumis and, um, maybe some more simple things. I want to start working on some Valentine's Day decorations for here. I want to make a pennant with hearts. I found a really cute heart pattern that had, like, there's, like, doily hearts. I remember making them in school with, like, coffee filters or something. And they're just hearts with like a doily, lacy looking border. I want to make a bunch of those to put in between our hallway and our uh, living room. And uh, I want to make some kind of wreath or something. And maybe like a heart shaped pillow. I don't know, just some random heart things to have around the living room. And uh, I'd like to start working on some Easter bunnies. I wanted to make some chocolate. Easter bunnies. I found a few patterns and the, the one I liked the most was a paid for pattern but I can't remember. It's all my favorites I think. I'd like to go buy it and start making them for Easter because I think people would be interested in buying those around Easter time. A lot of people I know wanted elves uh, this Christmas but everybody waited to tell me until December and uh, especially that big elf buddy the elf that I made uh, recently. I finished him recently. Beginning of December. A lot of people wanted those and I was like I'm not gonna have time to make these before Christmas I'm sorry one woman wanted like three of them and uh, that one took me four weeks to make uh, you know I could make it quicker but that one took me four weeks because in between Jesse and plus it was a crochet on but uh, I'm just not ready to commit to you know 18 inch dolls in multiple amounts to people by deadlines. And that's one thing I never wanted to do a craft show for because I didn't want the pressure of having to finish things. I'm kind of interested in doing a craft show, but I'd like to like baby step my way up. You know, just make a bunch of random stuff and then be like, oh, okay, I'll do a craft show this year. <laughs> but um, I just don't want to feel pressured that I have to finish something. That's kind of like that grease blanket. I think that's one thing. I pushed my way through the last two squares because I felt like I needed to finish it for the show or the podcast or whatever but then I realized that there's just no point in wasting my time working on something I don't enjoy when I could be working on things I do enjoy like this goodie I really enjoyed that I don't know why <laughs> and I uh, can't wait to wear that I wish it would snow or something but yeah I think that's pretty much it for this episode it's not too interesting but at least I had some finished objects I had what one two three four because the Christmas lights I keep forgetting about them but I'll insert a clip I guess I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here and um clean up Jesse's yarn mess. Uh, I'm sorry that the lighting's so bad, but it's, like I said, it's Thursday night. It's 6.31 now. <laughs> and, um, I just didn't have time. And the next next Thursday, I won't either, probably. Because Devin will be home. 
because he's off work. And also, I'll have Catherine all day. So I'll have to film again in the afternoon. But the Thursday after that, the first Thursday of January, Devin will be back to work and she'll be back in school. So it'll go back to normal. Hopefully. But I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and finish everything. <clears throat> Clean up. As usual, all my links are down below. My Instagram is my most active place. I haven't really been active in it lately because I've been so busy with the kids. But um, My Ravelry page and my Ravelry group, feel free to add me on any of those. Um, what, else, what else was I going to say? Oh, Helen from Ireland. <laughs> um, uh, if you're watching this, I, I hope you're watching it. I sent your Christmas card today. I forgot to send it sooner because I'm I'm a procrastinator. So you will get it after Christmas. I don't know how long it takes to get something from here to Ireland. I've never mailed anything. But um, I'm, I hope you get it soon. <laughs> and also Hannah, if you're watching it, I mailed your Christmas card and something else um, today also. And they, they told me on the tracking that it should be there too today. So you'll get it the day after Christmas. But uh, it's a thought that counts, right? <laughs> Even though it's a belated thought. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I will see you guys all next Friday for the... Woo! This one's going to need a lot of editing. I already know this. <laughs> but I will see you guys next time. Uh, next Friday for the next... Crochet Talk. I almost said, I'll keep on saying podcast. And then I'll see you tomorrow, which is Saturday. <laughs> Uh, for the next vlogmas if you're watching those. <laughs> and I'll see you guys later. I didn't say that a bunch of times. I always am so awkward on my endings. Oh well. <laughs>